If you have a jar of pennies sitting around, like this, or hopefully bigger, you can use them to create a special Valentine's Day sign. We put this one up on the mantle, and uh, we're going to show you how to make this heart art using pennies and felt and a couple other materials. So let's get started on this love project. Valentine's Day is a week from Thursday, so this might be good to do with the kids over the weekend. Took me a little while to do it, and I won't tell you how long until after this segment. Anyway, so I got the idea on the internet. I saw a picture. I don't know where I first found it, but I did pin it on my Pinterest pages, and it was using nickels. So the letters uh, instead of pennies, it was nickels, but it was $12 worth of nickels. And for this project, I used $3.36 worth of pennies. And then there was tool instead of felt. So I used wooden letters, felt, pennies, and paint. So let's get started. First, you have to pick up the letters at your craft store, or if you're really handy, you can cut them out. That's or you could even use cardboard if you wanted to. I picked these letters up at the craft store, and then I just used some metallic paint. And because it is winter time, I don't like to use spray paint so much. I like to spray paint outdoors where there's a lot of ventilation. So I just used some metallic copper colored paint, and I painted my letters. Just so anything that was showing through on the pennies, it would look metallic coppery. I mean, metallic, you know, it's kind of a a trend in fashion and decorating right now, that metallic trend. So there you go. That's your first step, is to paint. Now the person um, who did this craft originally that I saw, I think primed her letters first. I didn't feel like taking the time to do that. So I did two coats of metallic paint, and then you just let it dry. Now the second step, after you find your pennies, and do you have a lot of them? We have, we have a huge jar. I wanted to clean them up so that there would be a little sparkle um, to the penny. So I got my old pennies. You put them in vinegar. I used to do this as a kid. We used lemon juice when I was a kid. But you put your old cruddy pennies in there into some vinegar. You add some salt. And Pete could tell you the science of why this happens. But within just a couple of minutes, they're already starting to sparkle. I don't know if you can see that in there. Can you tell? Look, they're like shinier already. It's that easy. So something with the change in the chemistry of what's on there, and then it's also fun to do. You know the kids like that. Then you lay them out on your letter, and this takes about 100 hours. So spend a whole day doing this. You lay your pennies out, easy as pie, like that. Then you take a hot glue gun and you glue them on. And your letters are done. So let's move on to the heart. Uh, the picture that I saw, the uh, inspiration used just an O and tool flowers, but my daughter said that wasn't valentines -y enough. So I found, you could use cardboard, but I found this at the craft store. It was $1.99. And then you take different um, sizes of felt. I cut them in squares first. Then I rounded them out like this, and my uh, thrifty crafting friend, Kim Geyser, who's on the show a lot, shows, showed me how to make these um, um, flowers using paper. So you could do paper, too, if you have pink paper laying around. Um, use the paper. I like the felt. I like the softness of it combined with um, uh, the pennies, that metal. So metal and, and this soft felt I thought was pretty. You, you do this. Okay, you just cut it round. It doesn't have to be perfect. And then you just want to go round and round. Can you, can you just get a quick shot of this so people at home know uh, what I'm doing here? And you just go round and round until you have the size of your flower. And then you will want to glue it onto there. Different sizes. Stick a little rhinestone in the middle of one of those flowers if you want to add a little bling. And voila, you have a little heart art for your mantle. So there you go. I'll put some more directions online for you. Go to Good Day Wisconsin's page of uh, fox11online.com and you'll find more heart art there too. Uh, quick and easy, this one, um, using those paint chips from the paint store. And we turned one of them into a Valentine's Day bookmark and a wall hanging.